successful, self-made, you know, affluent people, the kinds that we would want as clients, the ones that are healthy and have good relationships and, you know, all of these kinds of things. I've found that they really appreciate when you have control of your attention and you're listening and you get right to the point, you dive right in and you ask what's up for you right now? What's important for you right now? What are you working on? Right? What projects are you working on? What have you learned lately? What are you trying to do? What are the challenges you're facing? You get right into the things that are important and then you guide and support and kind of, right? You help tune in to where the pain point is or where the, you know, Annie, I mean, I've literally seen her talk, start, start talking to somebody new and within a few minutes, the person's crying, you know, and I'm like, what are you doing there? She's a machine when it comes to helping people with their relationships. That's what she does. She goes to social events and she just meets people and is like, how's your love life? And she doesn't, she doesn't have like an ulterior motive. She's not there to like try to talk them into being a client. She's just, if there's an opportunity to talk about their relationships, she is just full on. And if, I mean, within five minutes, if they want to talk about their, you know, their, their lineage and all the abuse that happened five generations back and where she's right in there, like just dove right in helping as much as she can. And I've found that successful people, they like to do that. They like to get right to the point. And maybe more importantly, they like to talk with people and work with people and be friends with people who are comfortable getting right to the point and who don't have nervous, uncomfortable laughter and, oh, I don't want to, I hope this isn't bothering you and all these kind of social rules that maybe some of the folks that, you know, where I come from would be nervous about because there are all of these social um, conventions that are happening so that we don't offend each other, so that we, yeah? So what I'm trying to say here is successful people, right? They rely on referrals because they need to know who they can trust. They, uh, they like to get right to the point of whatever is important. They don't, like to, they don't like to waste time. Let me say it that way, right? The whole thing, time is money. It's really more like, because it's the, the kinds of clients that we all want, it's not that time is money to them. They're not the time is money, but they're like time is really valuable because the, by the way, the number one thing that affluent people like to do with their time is spend time with friends and with family. Right? The self-made affluent people, that's the number one thing that they like to spend their time doing is time with friends and family. These are good people. Right? And so uh, a, a lot of people don't have um, like a financial mobility and a lot of choice in their life. And so they kind of have to be nice to everyone in a way, or they have to do all these social kinds of conventions because it's kind of survival for them, you know? Whereas the elite kind of affluent clients that we're after, that's not where they live. They have lots of choice. They have lots of, right, lots of options. And, but they're not the, those bad, evil, rich people that a lot of us, you know, heard about when we were young. I mean, those people definitely exist. But, so we have to, we have to kind of tweak our understanding. And what's, what's so interesting to me is uh, a lot of the friends that, uh, that we have now that are the kinds of clients that all of us would like to have. Uh, like I got together with a couple of my guy friends several months ago and we said, all right, three of us, we're gonna get together and we're just gonna have like a, we're gonna drop in one evening. We're gonna have a kind of men's evening. And we got together for, I don't know, maybe two hours or something like that. And it was one of the most valuable meetings I've ever had with other human beings. We just sat down and we were like, all right, we're, we're you know, all three of us are good friends, um, but like we're good friends individually, but the three of us hadn't hung out together. And so we said, we're gonna, draw. and like, as soon as we got together, we looked at each other and realized this is a really valuable space. We need to do something important, you know? And it's like, okay, great. And one of them said, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, Rose Thorn Bud, 
or something like that. Is it, you know what I'm talking about? So what you do is you, sh you share like a rose thing, a positive thing in their life, and then you share a thorn thing, like a negative thing that's going on, and then like a bud, like something that's coming new. And he suggested, and we're like, oh, that's a cool idea. All right, great. And then we changed the order a little bit for our group, and then we just dove right in. And then we went around, and we each shared the thing, and then we got in. And then one of them's like, hey, I've got a sauna over here, and let's go all jump into the sauna. We jump in the sauna, and then we're talking about our relationships and things that are... And it was like I left, and I was like, wow, that was unbelievable. That was like a chiropractic adjustment for my soul. Like, awesome. And there, we didn't need to do a lot of, oh, how are you doing? And, you know, how's the weather? And how's the dog? And all. it was just like, boom. And when you, the more you uh, have this mindset and you kind of look for these people and you approach life this way, the more you realize, oh, this is the way we should be living anyway. This is the way I would like to be communicating with other people anyway. This is the way all of us should be. We should just be like dropping right in and, you know, getting right into it. I'm thinking of you, like when we started talking last night, like it's like, boom, we're right in and we're talking about crazy, like all kinds of levels, you know, and we're in there talking about meaningful things. And uh, I mean, within, I don't know, five minutes, we're in like the edge of controversial, hard to deal with topics that are sensitive around gender and politics and identity, pol like, and it's the kind of thing where sometimes when I have these conversations, some people get a little like, you can say they can't handle it or whatever, but we're like right in there, you know? And it's the, that's the way, I, to me, that's the way we should be, you know? And so I want to just put that possibility out there for you and invite you to look for those people and go to that space and get that those people want to connect with others. They want to be connected with other people and other resources. So know all of your professional contacts who are great. Have them right here in front of you and be able to refer them. Have also, by the way, you know, they value information. Like wealthy people value information more than other people. I always have a stack of books next to my computer that are all the best books that I've been reading. I got videos and documents because whenever I'm talking to people, I am always trying to recommend knowledge and, you know, the people in my life, many of them, they learned about the most valuable books they've ever read from me because I'm always trying to drop these, you know, these resources. So have valuable resources and be ready when you meet one of them to get right in and get right to the point and start talking about the essence of life and about what you're trying to do and what they're trying to do and be ready to go directly to work to help them. 